Hello my Shang Shang friends. I know I've been pretty bad about uploading videos, but that's because I moved. I'm in a brand new place. It's really echoey in here because I don't really have that much stuff yet. So the echo, because we don't have like carpets laid or anything, it's just really echoey. But I want to show you guys like a little mini tour of some of the like common areas. Ryan's sleeping in the bedroom, so I'm not gonna bother him. But yeah, so let me go to the front door. Hi, uh, my name's Meg. If you're watching this, this is gonna be a really personal video. Um, not really personal, but you're probably, I don't know if you wanna watch someone's house tour. Hi, uh, if you're new here, my name's Meg. I just moved to California. So this is gonna show like my empty house right now. I do fitness videos, I do like powerlifting videos and videos about being strong. So if you're interested in that, please do give me a subscribe and become a strong strong friend and if you guys enjoy this video and want to see more vlogs kind of stuff give this video a like i know a lot of times people ask for them or like they miss the vlog style content but sometimes i just get bored talking about my boring life and i want to make it fun for you so anyway this is fun because i'm really excited about moving okay so i'll stop babbling this is my partial house tour i'll probably do a more in-depth one whenever I have everything. You'll see it's really bare right now. We moved here with no furniture. Everything that you see here is brand new except for like my clothes. So yeah, it's we're kind of starting from scratch, which is really fun but also kind of stressful because I've been putting together so much IKEA furniture. I'm freaking sick of it. Anyway, okay, so here's the front door. You walk into the front door and then here's my empty living room. This will be like a TV room. We do have this rug laid, which I really do love, and this light, which I also love. Uh, you know, Ikea just gets you sometimes. Excuse the mess, where our trash cans outside are overflowed. This is our dining area. Still haven't decided, so I have a bench and a couple chairs. I'll probably get some more comfortable chairs and maybe lay like pillows or like a seating pad on those specifically just so it's more comfortable to have dinner but i love this little section yeah uh, and then here is probably gonna be where i'll spend most of my time this is probably intended for like a living room or something like that but we're gonna use it as my slash sophia's office cords are everywhere i'm gonna try and organize this but this is my standing desk which I'm super psyched for on Instagram. A lot of you guys were seeing this, but look. What? And it just raises. I freaking love it. <laughs> on Instagram, a lot of you guys suggested that I get a standing pad, and it's already helped. I haven't worked much because it's the weekend, but it's already helped so much. And then I have this stool that you can kind of like. The intent here is to lean on it. A lot of people who got this with the standing desk said that they hated it, so we will see. And then there's this table. I don't know about you guys, but this lamp, I always see an idea, and I always just wanted it, so we bought it. But this table, I do kind of switch between back and forth, um, and whenever Sophia gets here, she's in New York right now, but she'll be coming back to LA. Whenever she gets here, she will probably work somewhere in this area or this will be a table where we can collab. You're probably thinking like this room is really huge for just two people to work in. We will also house the Supply Co swag here and inventory here. Hopefully it can all fit. Right now it's just been growing so fast that it's kind of hard to keep up with. This was the first thing that I bought was this lavender plant and yeah, I'm excited to own this. I needed to water it last night but it's Perking up quite nicely. Yeah, it's a lavender plant, that's it. I'll probably move this to the bedroom just because the scent is more appropriate for bedroom. Okay, details. This we originally had in our bedroom, but we don't have space for this anymore. So I'll either use this as an ottoman whenever my couch does get here, it should get here in a few days, or it could be a bench for this, or I'm sure we'll find space for it. Okay, now for Probably one of the best parts of the house. The, the real best part of the house is outside and I can't, that's like the real point of this video. The kitchen though is amazing. Uh, it's amazing. 
It's not clean, don't, don't judge me. <laughs> we don't have a trash can yet, so we got that on the list to buy. But look how huge this kitchen is. There's an island with six burners on the stove. What I'm gonna use that for, I have no idea. Everything's pretty new, and like here's our stove and kind of like broiler. There's so much cabinet in here. I don't even know what to do with it. I have an entire like, Supplement cabinet use my discount code Meg squats for 10% off on spottyblade.com, but yeah, it's just really Really amazing how huge it is. I freaking love it And then we have like a little coffee station over here and water station. It's just so big. We are Like very underprepared to fill anything in this uh, little cute story about Ryan right now um, I used to travel a lot and whenever I did I would try to collect magnets so in New York, our fridge that was like three feet tall was full of magnets. I was really sad when we moved to Whistler because we were moving to a place that like really wasn't our own home. So I didn't feel comfortable like putting magnets all over a fridge that really wasn't mine. So my magnet collection I thought was so impressive before, but I'll show you my coolest ones. These I got in Den Haag. This is the painting, the girl with the pearl earring. Earring and the um, this painting I don't think is called the Goldfinch, but there is a book that I really did love until the ending, to be honest, called the Goldfinch. The plot is based around this painting, and it was in the Netherlands in Den Haag in their art museum when I went to it, and I got to see it in person. So I got those magnets there. Um, some are pretty basic Hollywood. Um, this is from my trip to Chile, which I just did for work, but. Uh, unbelievable place. I want to go back so that I can do like Patagonia or something. Okay, Patagonia is not in Chile, but um, close enough. Is it in Chile? Anyway, so yeah, uh, Ryan brought all of these magnets back to me and I completely forgot about them. Now that I think about it, my magnet collection doesn't really reflect all my travel, but anyway, this is an insignificant story. Chrissy Mae Cagney is getting married and pff, I'm freaking invited. I will see y'all there. Save the date, y'all. Okay, are you ready? Uh, this is the laundry room. Are you ready for the reason we moved here? It is so amazing. And this is why we chose this place. Uh, hold on, let me get the key because everything's locked up there. This is the outdoor space. It is so dope. Feast your eyes. Uh, it's completely empty right now, obviously. Feast your eyes on this beauty. I'm afraid people are gonna see it and be like, that's not that exciting. But we are in LA and I feel like this looks really nice and it's really big. And I haven't had a place in sunshine outside ever, I don't think. Never have I lived somewhere where I had an outdoor space of my own. I freaking love it. And then there's this door, which opens up to my garage. This, I can't really get a great view to show you all of it, but the measurements are pretty much like, I think it's 19, uh, not counting this, um, 19 by 19 is about the, it's the size of this garage, so it's not the biggest garage I've ever seen, but I feel like I can do pretty much anything and everything in this space. And then we will also have some space out here. I think we're just gonna get some extra stall mats or maybe even build a platform that we can like move. I don't know what the plan is there because I don't really know what I'm doing, but I will keep you guys updated. This is what I'm most excited about in regards to living here. I just been feeling like not so comfortable um, doing videos and vlogging like around people. I do just, uh, I'm a little bit sensitive and I think just more aware of people's own privacy concerns, which is fair. And I just don't want people in the back of my videos. A lot of times you put someone in the back of your video and people will like make fun of them, which I'm not down for. And it's kind of like when I'm talking to the camera, I feel like I'm just talking to a bunch of my friends, talking to you. When like there's other people around kind of like listening into our one-sided conversation. I don't love it. So this will be a place where I think I'll feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, most of the time I'll be training with Sophia, Ryan, um, and I think we'll invite a ton of friends over to also train with us. I have about a thousand plus, a thousand, uh, over a thousand pounds of weights coming in soon and also some flooring getting figured out. So 
I'm starting with that. I did just buy a kettlebell that should be arriving today, so I will get started with some workouts. Maybe I'll share them with you on this. But this is my house tour, and I think I'll do a little bit more in depth of a house tour whenever we furnish everything, whenever there's not like a crazy echo, whenever um, I have it like designed to my particular taste and finished. The only bad thing is that it's a little noisy on the street out there, but it's Sunday, kind of people are probably all over the place. Anyway, yeah, so that is my house tour. Today I'll just continue vlogging. Yeah, uh, let me know if you guys have ideas for both the outdoor space or the home gym. Uh, if you've ever built one yourself, let me know what you think I should do. Definitely, I will be getting, I'll probably just floor out the gym. I'll either be getting a combo rack or two. Um, I'll probably start with just one and yeah, other than that, just plates, barbells, and weights. And then I might just keep adding to it as we go. I really do want to just like shoot videos where I'm outside in the sunlight in this beautiful area by the flowers. I do want to shoot videos where I'm out there just squatting or benching or doing whatever I can. But I also want the space outside to be like kind of hang out with friends, have a barbecue, or hoping to get a barbecue soon. Uh, yeah, and just enjoy the summer, which is almost summer. Okay, yeah, we'll continue on with our day. I'm a vlogger now, so here's my meal on this tiny ass plate. I have two pieces of bacon, and this is folded up onto an egg sandwich. So one egg, two pieces of bacon there. We get the Costco bacon. This is the Costco bacon. It's pretty good macro, so if you can make it to Costco, six grams of protein for six grams of fat, so better than any other bacon that one can get, and that is for two slices. And then I've got egg whites plus spinach plus a little bit of cheese on top and then this is like 100 calorie english muffin what are we doing ryan About to <laughs> we are gonna head out taking some supplements we are headed to well we're waiting on an uber to get to the gym we're just gonna do like a full body workout i'm gonna start a program tomorrow uh today's sunday i might be starting on monday we'll see it like i'm gonna try to move around and not get sore so that I'm not discouraged to start tomorrow. Um, and we're gonna check out a new gym tomorrow too. So I'll probably just go and not bring a camera to avoid freaking people out. But we have a couple good prospects for like gyms to go to when we're not training here. Today we're just gonna fuck around and have some fun. What do you think about that? Watch your language here, lady. Hey you guys, I wanted to do a voiceover for this one so I can explain exactly what I'm doing for all of my movements. So I started off on, we just went to a Gold's gym that was pretty close to us. I started off with a single leg leg press and then um, after I did both sides each leg, then I moved on to some really, really, really slow tempo leg press. And so the entire time I'm like trying my best to count to like five on my descent and then same thing on the way back up. I start out a little bit too fast, um, but kind of get into a groove where I'm focused on squeezing. Um, what I liked about this especially, and especially using both of these movements, the single leg plus the um, double leg tempo, is that I felt like with the single leg, I do get more of a glute med focus. Um, so I do feel it more in my glute with the range of motion that I have for that single leg. And then just adjusting to having both legs in the same set, I do get more of a quad burn there. So um, something that if you're looking to double up and get more bang for your buck, I would definitely try out this move. Um, let me know if you do try it on Instagram or something. Kind of boring to watch, to be honest, because I'm going so slow, but this was a great way to overload the movement without adding going crazy, um, going crazy on my weights or um, you know, incorporating anything too much with too much volume that would take too much time i 
I ended up doing three sets of that leg press combo. Um, so I'm not, I'm showing you just one set of each movement, but the program is a little bit longer than that. I will write everything, uh, the full workout in down below. Um, so here next I'm on the leg extension machine and I am again doing some tempo work, but only on my descent. So I'm doing a regular rep on the way up, pausing at the top and then slowly, slowly descending. This is another way to increase your time under tension. Um, um, and I definitely, 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 especially after the leg press tempo work, I definitely felt a huge burn in my quads and my VMO especially. So this is a great option to, again, I'm using pretty lightweight. I think I have 50 pounds loaded. Um, that little knob has turned at the top. I have 50 pounds loaded and usually I can do somewhere around like 150 pounds, but this is still hard. You can see I'm still really focused and you know trying my best to resist that weight very slowly on the way down so julian smith if you ever want to check him out on instagram he's my friend and fellow bodybuilding.com athlete and he does a lot a ton of tempo work a ton of slow descents stuff like this so check him out if you ever want some more inspiration on movements like this and see how you can incorporate them into your program Superset with the leg extensions was some leg raises on this like vertical knee raise dip machine. Um, this does have a Swiss ball on the back, so it kind of is a little bit more comfortable. Um, but after that, I moved on to some adductor and abductor um, plus a lat pull down. So a couple of things here um, when you're thinking about adduction versus abduction uh, just remember that adduction is the movement of your body part toward your midline um, so that's how you can kind of distinguish between the two i always get confused with them too because they're just such similar words but anyway um, i tried i superset those just sets of 10 to 12 i think here and then i moved on to some lat pull downs i do have a little bit closer for grip in these and i'm also opting to stand up um, I had no particular reason for trying to stand up. I just did want to work on some lower body tightness because um, you have a little bit less stability since you're not pressing against the knee pad in the sitting position. So it was kind of fun to try these out, um, see if I, you, I would suggest you try them out to see if you like them. Um, just a little bit different from what I usually do. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout and yeah, we'll go back to our day. Okay, finished with our workout. And you can see I'm squinting because I need some sunglasses. So we're gonna look in the mall for some sunglasses. Did you tell them what you did today? Your workout? Yeah, I'm, I did a voiceover. Oh, shit. I'm going to do a voiceover as I'm speaking this. But babe, how excited are you that BJ's is here? Because you know, it's not in Canada. Most chain restaurants in Canada are better, but there's nothing like BJ's. There's no, uh, there's no bazooki. Don't they have like Tuesday bazooki deals? Oh, okay, now I know what I'm doing on Tuesday. Is that all me? Yeah, RX 100. You like these? No. <laughs> Not for her. No, who, who gets these? I don't know. <laughs> these are the glasses that I chose, just standard Ray-Bans. I've had, this is probably my fourth pair of Ray-Bans, but I mean, over the past like 10 years. <laughs> But I always lose or break them. I mean, I guess glasses aren't supposed to last like 10 years anyway, but I'm happy with my choice. Love them. Um, it's almost, it's about three o'clock right now. So I'm gonna prepare because every other Sunday I talk to my lifters on a Facebook Live. So I'm gonna prepare for that. Side note, if you've seen this in the shirt I was wearing earlier, the Plate Brains one, we have new products releasing on strongstrongsupply.com on Tuesday. So if you happen to watch this, the day that I post, um, First of all, shout out to you if you do that. Um, but we're having a new release of new products. So we have new Cali Rolls in different colors. They're reversible now. We have coffee scented inhale and a couple new shirt designs. So the blue version of the Strong Strong Pocket Tee. Um, we have Plate Brains and we have a Westworld inspired t-shirt as well as, is that it? Three shirts? Yeah, those are the three T's. Yeah, those are the three T's. Yeah, so check out our new launch. It will be live by the time you're watching this. Okay, I'm gonna prep for my call and then I guess I'll just show you guys what I eat for the rest of the day. Um, vlog life. <laughs>
Look what Ryan made for me, a little taco salad. Earlier, I know like my first meal before I was working out had no carbs in it pretty much, but I was snacking on these for my like pre-workout. And then after or during my workout, and I try to get it in before like 30 minutes has passed after I work out, I was just drinking a regular protein shake. This is the Bodybuilding.com signature line whey protein and chocolate. I have all three flavors, but usually I drink this just with water. And then I mix the vanilla in a, whenever I have vanilla, I'm like mixing it in with peanut butter and blueberries and like a frozen shake, frozen shake, smoothie. And then they also have the mocha and the mocha is really good tasting, but I prefer it in the mornings. So yeah, I have all three flavors, but if you just prefer to eat your protein, Drink your protein with water. Chocolate is probably the best tasting alone, I think. Mocha can be a little bit too much sometimes. Okay, about to eat this and get ready for my call. I didn't show you guys my our room yet, but this is our room. It's pretty much the bed and the dresser. <laughs> We're still in the process of decorating. We'll slowly decorate. Theragun, this is not sponsored, but my friend Kristen went to Theragun and was chatting with them and then she brought, she let me try it. So I think maybe some of you saw that uh, snap or story. And they, she got me the hookup and they sent me one. But the best part is, well maybe it's not the best part, but what it says. <laughs> you can Wait. get it engraved. Engraved? It says one strong bitch. So but, who are you borrowing that from? <laughs> I'm the strong bitch, sucker. So this, I have seen people use it. I have never used one before. I think when Kristen used it on my back, but I'm just excited because in Canada, we were getting massages all the time, all the time, but like once every couple weeks. You can leave one, of, it's an extra battery. Oh, it's an extra battery. So now maybe it's not so bad when you're paying Canadian dollars to get a massage, a sports massage. It's still kind of pricey, but. They have uh, they have all the like different attachments too. So Ryan Doris made a video about oh sick, so it doesn't have to be as hard because this looks intense, huh? Yeah, this or you could get hard. like the arrowhead. Oh, that looks intense. Ryan Doris made a video where he made his own from like a jigsaw. A jigsaw. Mm -hmm. A jigsaw has a blade. And so no, I mean they take the blade off. It's just the attachment. It's okay. just like the piece. It looks. I am not equipped to do something like that. I wouldn't do that, but check out his video, I'll put it down below. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> what the? What so it's pretty intense. Steffi Cohen has used this for a long time. Yeah, she recommended them a she's while She's the first back. person I ever heard recommend them, and she's a physical therapist and also the strongest person in the world. <laughs> so there's that. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll try it for a couple of weeks and let you guys know if we think it's worth it. It's quite pricey, so keep that in mind. Uh, how much do you? Oh, I want to say over five hundred. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I need that. Ah. Ryan's gonna hook me up on my back. Oh, maybe I can do it myself. Oh. Look what I just got in the mail. Oh snap. We've got our first piece of equipment for our new gym. Meg's gym of strength is officially open for business. My little kettlebell. <laughs> this is a 43 pound kettlebell, I think. I think it's 43, uh, 40 pounds, 40 pound kettlebell that I got, I ordered this from Amazon. So it only took like three days to get here, but I'm really excited because there's a ton of stuff that you can do with just one kettlebell. And 40 pounds is a pretty moderate weight to get some good work in for a ton of different movements. So I think uh, the next video, um, I might do like an at-home workout for this. Let me know if you guys have any idea because my gym is growing very quickly. But for now, <laughs> we've got one piece of equipment. Uh, yeah, I'm stoked to just like get moving with this. Uh, next, we are waiting on everything else, some flooring. Um, I still have to place the order for most things, but yeah, it will grow and I'll keep you updated on everything, uh, but I'm super excited. And now I can do at least some stuff. I can just get a good pump in, you know what I'm saying? 
Not that I can do bicep curls with 40 pounds, but hey, the sky's the limit. Okay, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you spent a long time with me, so you might as well just subscribe. Apparently like 60% of people who watch do not subscribe, but if you're part of the 60% who also made it this far, what are you waiting for? Be my strong, strong friend. You can do it. Um, yeah, check out the Strong Strong Supply Co. launch that launched today. Um, hopefully, not everything sold out, but we should. We we've been ordering plenty of stock lately, so our goal is to not just sell out immediately. We're hoping that we get you covered. And I think that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, enjoy like the vlog style. Be sure to like this video. It does help out the channel a lot. And also let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know how I should deck out my home gym. I'm super psyched. Bye.